<clears throat> What's up everybody, James is back and today I want to dive in a little bit deeper for all of you new runners that are looking to download a running app. So today specifically I want us to dive into the Nike Run Club app. I think it's extremely important for any runner, especially if you're new, to have some type of device that actually tracks your miles so that you have an idea of how much you're actually putting in each week. Now if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually track your miles that way. There's different apps like Map My Run, Strava, there's the Nike Run Club if you have a Garmin watch. But specifically today, I want to talk to you about the Nike Run Club app because I believe, especially for beginners, it does great with tracking your miles, connecting to music, and having a lot of great achievements and awards that you can win that keep you motivated to keep going and pushing towards your running goals. It's also got a lot of great teaching stuff when it comes to guided runs, um, encouraging runs in different categories. For those of you that maybe don't know where to start, that's gonna help you along your way. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna jump on the app together so I can kind of walk you through some of the key elements that I believe is gonna be beneficial to you, especially if you're a new runner. So grab your phone, download the Nike Run Club app, and let's get right into it. All right, so I got my phone. Check out the screen next to me. We're gonna dive in this together. So you can see I have the NRC app on the bottom there that's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see it from scratch. Um, you're going to notice right away it takes you to where I can start or run immediately. So for right now, that's not something I want us to focus on. But at the top, you are going to see three little things. Quick start, quick guided runs, my coach. You're going to see it says basic. The start, you're going to see a little cog to the left. And then you're going to see an iTunes music sign to the right. Um, then if you go to the very bottom, you're going to see uh, five different icons. So let's just start left to right. So if you click on the home icon on the bottom left, this is actually going to be your feed just like it is on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Anybody that you follow, you're actually going to be able to see their posts, see their miles. You can like it. You can comment on it. Um, this is great for just staying connected with friends. Uh, perhaps you're a part of a run club or you have a lot of friends in different states and you just wanna keep up with them when it comes to their running. Some people will actually post a lot of this stuff on their social media. Others will just post it on the app itself. So it's kinda of neat to kinda of go through and see what's going on with those you follow. I follow a lot of different runners. To me, it doesn't matter uh, if they're from the United States or overseas. I just like staying connected with different runners. Um, so this is something you'll see a lot uh, in mine. Um, so the next one on the bottom, if you select the little graph, it's actually going to show you your stats from day one that you've had. So since I've had the Nike Run Club app, I've run a total of 2,091 miles. You can see I've done 636 runs, my average distance, and my average pace. So for the month of January, you can actually see I've only done eight runs this month, totaling 24 miles with the average pace about 11 minutes, 26 seconds. Now it's cool because you can see the different runs. Uh, the Tuesday run that I just did, you can see it's got a little graph. So that means I ran outside with GPS. And then if you go to the next three, you're gonna see a little circle, which means I ran on a treadmill. Now this is one thing I love about the Nike Run Club app is it does track whether you're indoor or outdoor. Now when it comes to Strava and a few others, they only track if you're running outdoor, which for me I don't necessarily like. But I love with the Nike Run Club app that you can track your indoor runs on a treadmill. Now some of you, maybe you're not into the treadmill, but others of you, based on where you live, maybe it's too cold outside or you're like me in Arizona during the summer, it's too hot. Sometimes the treadmill is a necessary evil. So don't be afraid to attack the treadmill when you have to. A lot of people don't like it because it's just boring. You can't see anything. You're just running in place. You're staring at the same screen. This is why for me, I love music. But also if you are indoors, it's kind of nice because you can actually watch TV, you can watch your phone, whether it's Netflix or different things, to take your mind off the distance if you are trying to get more miles in. So I love this because you can just go through month by month and see your stats and where you're at. 
if I do click on a run, it's actually going to give me more details. So this run, uh, you can see my pace, my time. You can actually see where I was at uh, when it comes to my city. You can see your splits. One thing I do love about the Nike Run Club app is it does let you upload shoes to your profile so that you can track miles per shoe. Now, this is going to be huge, especially when you're getting into running, to know that most shoes, it's about 300 miles that a lot of runners may start to consider retiring that shoe. Some you can do a little bit more, some might be less. It just depends how much wear and tear you have on your shoes. But this way, you can be guaranteed to know where you're at when it comes to mileage per shoe. That way, you can look to upgrade or get a new pair if you need to. Uh, to make sure you're having the support that you need because you don't want to run in shoes that are no longer suitable for you to help prevent injury. You can also see the my effort where I ran at any note. So depending on how serious you are getting into running, these are great functions that you have to really boost up where you're at. So how difficult was this run? Slide to select. So was it hard, challenging, considerable light, max effort? So that's something that I do like. I'll push the check mark where I ran. So I ran actually on the road for this one. And then any notes, I just tap on it. Uh, it was a Tuesday night. So I'm just going to put, I ran with my run club. Right AZ. Then I'm going to save that. And now I just got my updated. Uh, stats when it comes to that run so if I ever need to go back and look through it I can and it's really gonna help me out so you can see uh, November 12 runs October 5 runs so for me I do a lot of traveling for work so it is difficult sometimes to get out there and again this is just another way to keep track right because maybe I feel like I am running a lot or I lost my touch or what's going on I can look back and say wow in October I only ran 11 miles total but in November, I got back on track and ran 33 miles total. So normally, I used to be around 50 or 60 uh, miles per month. But due to different traveling and stuff, it's been significantly less, which is okay. Uh, you can see August, I, I was back at it. But this is going to be great for you in terms of your history. Now, if you do go to the very top, it's going to say achievements. So like I said, one thing I love about the Nike Run Club app is it does give you achievements for different things. It could be for your fastest mile, fastest half marathon, one day your fastest full marathon, or it could be cool things that are going on um, during the month. So uh, for example, it just had the beginning of the new Chinese New Year. So they had a badge for those that ran on that day. If you run on the 4th of July, if you run on your birthday based on your profile, Nike does give cool badges to you. And you can also do different challenges, which is really cool to kind of keep you motivated each week. So if you pay attention to Nike, they have a lot of great challenges that you can join and enter um, that does help keep you motivated. That's one thing I love about Nike Run Club app is their whole goal is just to promote activity and to get you out there. So I join a lot of these different things uh, just to kind of keep me going each week. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I like collecting them. It's becoming addicting. Um, you can also see like they have different run streaks that they keep track of. Also, how many times you ran a certain miles a month. So you can see for me, uh, I have not hit the 100 miles in a month yet. That is a goal of mine this year in 2020 to tackle that. And then um, if we go to the top right run levels, so one thing that's great about Nike Run Club too is they have the different run levels so that you have something to work towards. So for me, I am in the purple. I got quite a bit of ways to go until I hit the black uh, badge. Well, I shouldn't say badge, but the black milestone. And then the max one is Volt. So again, staying motivated, find different ways. If you're a competitive person, this is great. Now I do know Garmin does have badges. Strava does have achievements also. For this specific video, I'm just talking about Nike. Personally, I've been using this for a few years and I love it and I think it's great, especially if you're a new runner. If we go to the bottom middle icon, that takes us back to what our main home screen is gonna be. If I click on this little cog on the left, it's gonna allow for video feedback, countdown seconds, it will let you connect to a, a Apple Watch or if you have a heart rate monitor. Um, 
how you want your pace to display and different things of that nature. And if I click to the right, it's actually gonna pull up my playlist that I have. Now I have it synced to iTunes, to my Apple Music, but you can also sync it to Spotify. So one thing for me I love about running is listening to music. I have a lot of fast upbeat music that I love to run to because it keeps me motivated. Some runners do like to run just no music at all. They like to hear their, their breath and their pace and the whole nine, which is totally great. But I love this because other running apps, you cannot actually sync your music to it. So I do appreciate this. So I always make sure to just click a playlist before I get going. Then if we go to the next icon on the bottom, it's, this is where all the challenges are going to show up in this club section. So you can see at the top here, you can actually create your own challenges. So there's a few people that have invited me to participate in their challenge. So if you have other friends that maybe don't live locally or maybe you are a part of a run club and you want to do a group challenge, you can create that and then you just invite other people to join. You get a badge once you complete it, especially if you're first. But Nike also has their own challenges that they do each month. So the January 50K, we're coming up on February, so you're going to start to see a lot of February challenges. And sometimes when they release new shoes, they have special challenges that you can join to try to win that new running shoe. So I actually won a pair of Pegasus Turbo the X the, um, just by running and using the app. They said I won, I claimed my prize, they shipped the shoes to me with a great note and I was stoked. So in reality with Nike specifically, I can say it does actually pay to run with their app, especially when they have new product or, or new things that are coming out. Now if I click leaderboard, you can actually see where you stand with your friends or those that you follow. So you can see I'm in 85th place, it's not doing well, I follow some avid runners, somebody got 503 miles in a month. That's a lot, but kudos to them. So you can track your progress. Again, for me, when it comes to running, it's not always about competition with others. I do believe healthy competition can really catapult you forward and make you a better runner. But if you're somebody that is consistently comparing yourself to others, like for example, I have 24 miles this month and the top follower I have has 503. If I'm comparing myself to them and I, I start to get discouraged, that's when this is no longer a benefit. So just know why you're running and your whole purpose and goal and just know that your life is different than their life. So it's okay if it looks different, um, especially when it comes to pace or miles tracked per week, per month. Um, do what's best for you. Listen to your body. If I was to compete with this guy and run 500 miles in a month, I'd probably injure myself because my body is just not at the point where I can handle that type of uh, sustainability. So do what's best for you. Then in the top right, you'll see events. Welcome, oops, welcome to Nike Run Club. So you can actually find a run club in some of the major geo cities. Um, not every city has it. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then if you click this far bottom right, this is actually going to take you to the Nike uh, running store. Um, obviously, they are a running company. So if you are looking to get shoes to run in, it's very critical finding the right shoe. So personally, I do like running in Nikes, but I have a lot of friends to where it doesn't fit their feet. So they do a lot of Asics or Brooks or other uh, running shoe companies, which is great. Uh, my big thing is find what works for you. But there are times that you will get benefits or specials when it comes to uh, running shoes and running product before other people because of the app. So just keep that in mind. Then if I click this top left icon, it just basically shows my profile. Um, it does show all the posts I have, all my friends, so I can't expand that. Um, but it does show my shoes. So this is something I want to touch on that I think is extremely important, especially if you're new to running or if you're an avid runner and you're looking to switch it up when it comes to your running app. Um, it's great that you can actually see where your shoes stand and you can actually also retire shoes. That way it's, it's out of your, your thing. So if it's not a Nike shoe, that's great. You can still plug in whatever shoe you want, name it whatever you want. That way you can kind of track where you're at with the different shoes. So you can see for me in my time, I've ran with a lot of different shoes, but I mainly stick to a few. My organ projects are the Zoom Flies, and then I'm a big Pegasus fan, but the Zoom Fly Volt, uh, Vomero Structures, um, the Zoom Fly Breaking 2, 
uh, right here goes the uh, Pegasus 35 Turbo. This is the shoe that I won uh, through the Run Club app, um, which I love to death. They're great shoes. Um, I've actually ran in it more. One of my things is I do forget sometimes to switch my shoes um, in the app, which is okay. But super easy to add a shoe. As you can see, Brooks, Asics, Hoka One. It's got all types of running shoes. So for you, if you're actually not sure where to start when it comes to looking into running shoes because you're not familiar with a lot of the companies, don't be afraid to click on this and go through it. Again, I'm going to encourage you to go to a local running shop and get tested out to see how, what type of foot you have. Are you a neutral runner? Do you supinate? Do you pronate? Because they make a lot of great technology and shoes now that can help correct your foot to make sure you're running in a healthy way. <coughs> So with that being said, I'm going to exit out of the shoes. You can see a Nike Pass. Um, I haven't been able to use this yet because there's not really any major events in Arizona that Nike hosts. Um, again, events right here. The last one that I did attend was uh, uh, they had a Nike golf function out here. Uh, and then they have the Waste Management Open, which a few years ago when Nike used to be in the golf, they actually had um, a special area. But this is where uh, the settings, you can plug all that in and go from there. Uh, when it comes to setting up your account or profile. Again, if I want to run in the treadmill, I push the cog, I push indoor, I push done, and now I'm in a treadmill setting. So that's great. And then if I want to go outdoor, I just wait for the GPS, um, and then it's going to lock in on where I'm at. So for all of you, if you're... <clears throat> so just to recap, this is specifically just geared towards Nike Run Club. I do think it's a great app. It does have its moments. It does have its glitches. It's not perfect. So I do want to throw that out there. Anytime I can give feedback on the app, I do because it can be frustrating when you start a run and then you get out there running and then you notice it never started tracking. So you got to start over. The good news is you can edit a run and update it if you need to, to make sure you're tracking the right mileage. And then one of the nice things is if you have an Apple Watch or if you have a GPS watch, for example, Garmin or um, uh, uh, a few different others, they can actually sync to your Nike Plus. So maybe you don't exactly have to start your Nike app every time, but it is one of those things to where you can have your watch sync over or you can have your Nike uh, Run Club sync over to other things. So it is a lot more compatible nowadays with different uh, running type watches and different apps which I think is great but I'm gonna encourage you if you've been thinking about running download the app again pick your favorite playlist pick a podcast oh one thing I, I need to go back to the guided runs um, if you look at guided runs for example I told you like maybe you're new to running and you don't know how to do stuff you don't know what tempo is um, it's your first run it's your next run you're trying to do a speed run there's these different things you can actually click on these. So your first long run, you can download the guide and it's actually the coach Bennett is the main coach for Nike Run Club and he'll actually walk you through it. He'll talk with you. Um, it's great. You know, if you want to do a 15, 30, 25 minute run, it's also something that's going to be beneficial for you just to get started in this space. Speed runs, treadmill runs. So again, Nike has really expanded their reach with this, which I'm loving. Um, it's something that Strava does have uh, extra stuff when it comes to training things, but you have to pay for it. So with Nike, all of this is 100% free, which I love. Then if you click on the My Coach thing, you actually get to pick and customize your plan. Um, get started, get more fit, get ready for race day. Those are the three main categories. So again, based on your needs, especially if you're new to running, just get started right. Get uh, you know, it's it's all about the first step. Maybe it's getting the shoes. Maybe it's your first run. Maybe you only run a half mile, a quarter mile, whatever it is. You, you're getting out there and doing a little bit more than you did the day before. Again, a lot of times the challenge just needs to be with yourself. Once you get into that habit of getting out there, it's actually a lot more exciting to do. Um, your body will eventually start to adapt and appreciate it. But these guided runs are great. And once you do some of them, you actually get a badge icon for completing it. So again, it's just a fun way to mix it up if you need that extra assistance. Uh, that's one of the nice things about Nike. So for all of you new runners out there, I hope you crush your goals in 2020. 
be sure to leave a comment below if there is a favorite running app that you use. If you use the Nike Run Club app, let me know. Let me know how you like it. Let me know what you wish they could do better. If you do use other apps, like I said, uh, give them a shout out. I would love to hear your thoughts on those. And if you like what you heard, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow my subscriber base a bit and I could definitely use your help. So don't be afraid to get out there and good luck.